is James Arnold Taylor, voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Welcome to a more civilized podcast. This is the podcast you're looking for. You may not go about your business. Stay here, listen, and then move along. Hello there. Nobody's going to do General Kenobi? <laughs> Come on, you're terrible. <laughs> I was guys. about to, and then I was like, no, it'd be more entertaining not to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you listeners, you have no idea what it is to put up with the shenanigans of these two, especially Ross, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> anyway, I'm Kyler. I'm Chris. I'm Ross. Oh boy, it sure is. And this is a more civilized podcast. Welcome to it. Indeed. Ross? I guess we're just, wow. Yeah. I sorry. feel like there's I'm usually... Sorry. I had to like adjust my mic. It was like right in the way, and then I was like, "Wait, I'm supposed to tell." Anyway, Ross is going to do the news. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. He's actually not. He's going to do the no. the newsy news. news. For the <laughs> love of the force, stop it! Oh yeah, <laughs> newsiest ever. So, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like so Ross's very Barry voice. Manilow <laughs> is in studio. <laughs> All the berries. Oh, uh, that's right. Um, so we are. A little bit lighter on news this week. A couple of interesting (laughs) items of note. First off being, which is probably the most interesting, that Star Wars Celebration 2020 is still a go for now. Probably. Sort of. A a Celebration-esque thing, maybe? Yes. They're still planning something. They are still planning on it going forward because it's so late in the summer. Mm -hmm. And things are supposed to be... Much improved by then. Yeah, ideally. So yes. it's, it's better. August, dang right? it! I have tickets. Yeah. Oh, is that this year's? That's yeah. right. It is this year's. You have yeah. tickets too. So. So everyone, keep your fingers crossed and praise yep. the force, mm-hmm. and then it'll look favorably on Pond Kyler. Yep. That's not a Star Wars thing, but I'm Please gonna make it. Let long. it happen. Anyway, uh, so yeah, hopefully I that need still goes. the force goes. of others to be with me in this. That's right. <laughs> uh, hopefully that still goes on so that we can get sweet, sweet Star Wars news and announcements. Because they still have been very candid about uh, upcoming movies and, yeah. and things and what the plans are going forward. So, hopefully. Next, because of the... Big Rona? The ongoing virus <laughs> and the potential canceling of like the 2020. Like I said, Big Rona? Yeah. I'm... A- did you guys see The Office? It's like what each member of The Office would Wouldn't call Corona. Yeah. yeah, I'm a big fan of Andy's Big Rona. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Um, Star Wars or and Michael Disney. Scott's The Kung Flu. <laughs> yeah, the Did, lung pow sicken. Whose was that one? That's just That's his. Michael Knowles. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Knoll. How about the uh, chop fluey? <laughs> Fantastic. I'm sorry. Go ahead. If you know who Michael Knowles is, then you are clearly someone of uh, great uh, taste. Okay. I have no idea who that is. Yeah. Neither do I. Yeah. So. I know. Oh, That's why it was a go. veiled insult, Ross. <laughs> was, this a, was this a history joke that we don't get? Nope. No. Mm. No. I feel reassured. I feel pretty I comfortable that I would have gotten it. I know it a, a couple of people, based. Ryan Farron included, what's up, Ryan, know who I'm talking about, and they're all, we're, we are all laughing at you, Ross. See, and I feel like, I feel like I've heard the name. Yes, you have. Have I? I've shared it with you. Mm. Yes. Anyway. Interesting. <laughs> Guess I'll be doing a search here in a minute. Uh, anyway, Disney has released Star Wars themed Rona masks. Yep. Uh, Along with other various Disney characters. Yeah. Um, order them why do we care the about those? Yeah, no kidding. O- order them soon because, I mean, things are looking better. So, you know. I've just been using my Dr. McNinja mask when I need a mask. So, yeah. so Costco is <laughs> apparently requiring you to wear masks. Mm-hmm. I kid you guys not. I'm like when I get home tonight from this recording, I'm going to order a plague doctor mask for myself. Nice. From Amazon, and see, that's what I'm going to wear. If I had had any sort of time, I would have done like 3D printed a like a Darth Vader mask to yeah. put the yeah. like the things I, in, to insert yeah. into. I told but. my wife the other day. I'm like, I really wish I were like a part of the 501st right now because I would legit show up in like a full like Clone Wars <laughs> uniform and be like with. A mask on over the top of it. Yeah. Just for hilarity's <laughs> sake. <laughs> uh, uh, onward and upward, fellas. In other news, there is a brand spanking new Baby Yoda Monopoly mm. on the market. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the game Monopoly? Yes, the, the game, game Monopoly, Monopoly has gone Baby Yoda flavored. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, that's how you know we've hit rock bottom with Baby Yoda. <laughs> No, I mean, they, Monopoly, ha- so Bacon Sale did an episode on uh, board games like uh-huh. two weeks ago, three, no, three weeks ago by the time this airs. Uh, really, really fun episode, actually. I definitely recommend uh, listening to it. 
Um, but they talked about Monopoly, and they'll share interesting little tidbits, you know, on, on the games. There are like... 60 or 70 different versions of Monopoly uh -huh. because I'll do the themes. You know. So I'm not entirely surprised that they did a Baby Yoda. Yeah. Well, and especially more recently when they've just been... Uh, Monopoly's been hitting everything. I mean, there's yeah. like a Millennial Monopoly. Oh, I know. Like, That's what I'm thinking of. Like, ugh. <laughs> The Millennial Monopoly is hilarious. The touch of Monopoly is not necessarily sale. flattering to me. <laughs> yeah. And actually, and when we say Baby Yoda Monopoly, it's, I mean, it's got a big Baby Yoda in the center, but it's mostly just Mandalorian stuff yeah. around the board. Yeah. But all the pieces um, are different Baby Yoda poses yeah. on the show. Yeah. So he's got oh, like a God. bowl of soup in one. He's like holding the, like the little, like the ball that yeah. he unscrews from the thing. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah. yeah, and actually, and also, this article is mentioning that there are there are several things coming out. This is part of the May the Fourth kind of toy yeah. push. There's more Baby Yoda pop vinyls and just all sorts mm -hmm. of, of Stephen. You know, well, that's what they Christmas. made him for. So <laughs> it's true. And um, I you know that's all fair. In. That's Unlike fair. Porgs, I'm all in on Baby Yoda. <laughs> yeah. So by the time you listen to this, there's going to be all sorts of stuff that you can go out sure. and see if you haven't already. Also, speaking of May the Fourth. It's kind of a big day in the visual mediums because that's the last day for Clone or was the last day for Clone Wars. Sorry, podcast Ooh, magic. Yeah, and that final episode was amazing. Probably. I'm sure it was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the penultimate episode yeah, it was, true. was great. It yes. was uh it was something to behold, man. I it was really incredible. Yep. It it this Siege of Mandalore arc can't say anything official until a couple days from now when I have already seen this. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be my favorite arc in the whole series. I, I wouldn't be surprised because they've... really good. They've definitely kind of pulled out the stops for this. I'd love to see a recut of all four episodes together. Yes. Uh, I'm pretty sure that... I, so, as you might imagine, this is a subject I've been following on social media. Mm. <laughs> and there are numerous people on Facebook and Twitter that are already planning to just stitch them together I figured, and run it yeah. as a movie. Well, so, and I'm, I don't think just stitching them straight together would work because they all have their own No, yeah, their arcs, own intros but, and stuff, uh, but to basically turn them into the, a two-hour movie or well, hour but even, half movie. Even if you were to cut off the intro and the, the credits, I don't, I don't think they would exactly flow together. I think well, I mean, they'd flow together at least as well as the actual Clone Wars yeah. movie did. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's and true. And probably much better than that. Yeah, well, I mean, at least as well as anyway. that. And But it's it's been beautiful. I have absolutely loved this final season. Yeah. It's great. Well, I look forward to watching it in yep. a year or two when I finally uh -huh. get around to that. <laughs> and I will be just as excited for you then as I am now. <laughs> yeah. And then, finally... We'll have finally... to make a watch, like, an actual thing of that, like... Have you over to my place, sit down, like, we'll get pizza, popcorn. We'll the whole, see. <laughs> the whole thing. Because I would like to do all four episodes just as oh, a movie. I'm, yeah. 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 Um, and also in May the 4th news, Rise of Skywalker is on Disney+, Plus, and that's the end. Crickets. The news. Crickets. <laughs> yeah. Crickets. <laughs> Nobody cares. Nothing more to say. <laughs> oh, and so. also, Andy's birthday party has been moved to today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well done. That's an intro for our new Pixar podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. That's not happening. No. Uh, um, yeah. Much as I love Pixar, no, no. Nope. Um, surprisingly, I don't know that there would be enough material to last this long. You know, that's fair. Yeah. Not this long. You could do a bunch, though. So today, my only notes for today said we took a lot of personality tests. We did. I took two. You told, you, us to take, two? you told us to take two in advance. I said you have to do those. Oh, you're going to do them here. I guess. Oh, yeah. I, I assumed them. that's what we were doing oh. with the rest. Some of them take a long time. Okay. Well, you yeah. gave me, you gave us two and you're like, you have to do these in advance. And I was like, okay, oh, I'll do so, those no. two in advance. Yeah. And so, okay. Apparently this was my bad on the instructions. They were supposed to do all of the quizzes. I did gotcha. And the two that they absolutely I, I would for say, sure yeah, had to it do probably seems like it was my mistake because Ross got it just fine. So. Um, so we It's took... like I've been half-assing this podcast yeah. all these years. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> Say it ain't so. Unless we were talking about Last Jedi. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Then you whole-assed it. I did. <laughs> so, I um, whole-assed one thing on we, this podcast. This has come up before, like, in talking with listeners at events and me with Steven playing Legion and stuff, and uh, random times this has been on our list of things to talk about for quite a while. That we were going to take, like, some Star Wars quizzes, like, personality tests, like, you know, find out which character you are, blah, 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 and find out who we are based on these answers. Um, 
So I googled Star Wars personality quiz and threw down the first six that were there because they seemed like the most legit. And uh, I don't know this one I'm taking right now. I'm already it's yeah. I hate these quizzes. So I, yeah. I, I will just say in advance, I, I hate too. all personality quizzes. Doesn't matter how legit they are. Yes, I, I hate them all of every type. I don't care what if it's your your. Uh, I What's agree. The four letter one that they do. The, oh yeah. Oh, my sister's yeah. going to be a Paul that I couldn't remember what that was called, but yeah, yeah because Myers? every time, Is that yeah, Briggs Myers. Oh, okay. There you go. Thank you. Myers even... Briggs. Other way. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I always I would get every question, and I'm just like, uh, I don't have an opinion or none of the above or so, like this one. There's a multitude of Star Wars films. Which of these do you like most? And I'm like, well, you didn't give me the one I like most. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. You just assumed that I wasn't going to answer the Last Jedi. I don't like you already. <laughs> I did leave notes on the randomness of the 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 quizzes. So I ranked mine what I thought was the best quiz mm-hmm. down to the worst. Ooh. So um, we took... Let me uh, get there. Okay. So there was a quiz. My number one quiz that I thought was the best was the BuzzFeed quiz. Because... So I don't like... Char- like when it's like, find out what character from X fictional universe you are. Yes. And the answers are all clearly... Oh, this is this character. This is this character. Yeah. Well, I like this character, so I'm going to pick these answers because I want it to give me this character. Mm-hmm. Like, a ton of uh, like Harry Potter quizzes are like that. Anyway, yeah. so um, I like more the quizzes where it is unrelated things. I do really like that, with, yeah. Because then it's like, okay, well, do you like root beer or Coke more? Yeah. Okay, well, I like well, root beer it, more. And you know? some and questions then, where it's like, hey, what's your favorite color? Blue, green, red, or yellow? It's like, okay, well, that does lead a little bit. It does. <laughs> but even then, it doesn't narrow it down <laughs> right. to one single pick. Yeah, but it's like, you know, what would you do if, uh, you know, they said I love you? Say I love you back or say I know. It's like, oh, well, I, I like Han Solo, so I'm going to say I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, don't, I don't like quizzes like that. So the quizzes for that for me anyway that were further away from that type of quiz scored higher. So I thought the BuzzFeed quiz was the best because really? it was the most like Direct, we're not we're not sure. going to give you clues as to what the answer might be, you know. See, I felt that was the second worst. For oh, that. really? Hmm. Yeah. And n- let me also preface this by saying BuzzFeed is typically like internet herpes. It's yeah. terrible. Oh yeah. Um but on this quiz I thought they did a pretty good job. My number two pick was uh, my number one pick for a while, which was the brainfall.com because again it was very like would you rather have like soda or wine or water or orange juice you know things like that um my number three well on this one in particular on the opposite end of the spectrum from jedi is the sith pick your favorite user of the dark side of the force hmm emperor palpatine darth maul kylo ren or dark vader Chris is stealing my thunder. I was going to make fun of that in a second. Uh, <laughs> this, yeah. this quiz quiz has officially lost all credibility. Yeah. Until so, I like what they give me. Then yeah, we'll that was it. my second to last one. <laughs> that was my second worst one. So my number three was from Magic Quiz. My number four was from Zimbio. My number five was that one that Chris just did. It was HowStuffWorks.com. And then my worst one was Beano. It was terrible. It was really like, do you like... You know, it's like, do you identify more with Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, or Chewbacca? And it's like, what the heck kind of quiz is this? You know, anyway. Yeah. So, then uh, I also told them that they needed to take the StarWars.com, which Star Wars Clone Wars character were you? Mm. And I wish I had done that sooner, because I realized StarWars.com has a buttload of character quizzes. And we all just done official oh. Star Wars ones. But we didn't because we're only adequate. There we go. So we are maintaining our level of adequacy on this show. Um, So I took a couple extra of those just for funsies and to talk about. So yeah, Dark Vader was like, I was like, who the put this together? You should be fired. Um, So you guys all did the BuzzFeed one. Who did you guys get for BuzzFeed? Are we going in the order of the quiz you like the least to the most? Oh, no, I was just doing the two that we definitely had. Yeah, because you've given me me some time to catch up here. Thanks, I appreciate that. So, on the BuzzFeed quiz, I got R2-D2. Hey, me too! Did you? Interesting. (gasps) Oh, I got Darth Vader. Yep. Okay. Very cool. I... Did you get a lot of different answers? Or did you have a pretty common theme? 
Mine are definitely well, themed. Thus far, I've got two different answers. <laughs> yeah. But since the other one was from a which Clone Wars character are you, yeah, Vader then, wasn't an option right, in the first yeah. place. So who did you get, though, on that one? I got Ahsoka. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Huh. Yeah. I was also, happy with that. Uh, that's the, the Star Wars.com one? Yeah. Uh, I got Anakin on that one. I got Anakin as well. Really? Are you the one? You form no strong we get attachments <laughs> to the people in your life and have trouble letting go. It's true. But you've proven time and again that you're charismatic, courageous, and capable of greatness. I should have I should have copied down the, yeah. the description soup. I only Oops. thought of that on that one. Mm. And I wasn't going to go take the other oh, quizzes yeah. again. Because yeah, no <laughs> some of those quizzes are super long. Yeah. There was one that was like, it took me like 20 minutes to get through it. It was so fetching long. I was like, this is a bad choice. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have had this one. Um, okay, Ross. But you did all of them, right? I did all okay, of them. Okay, let's yeah. start with the top of the list then okay. for you. So this is the How Stuff Works one. Uh, I got Luke. I now, also got Luke. Really? Yeah. Now, did it? I'll tell uh, you in a second. This one's taking me a while. It's yeah. a long one. It's a little bit yeah, longer. That yeah. Was longer. There was one that was even That's longer. That's the one that has Dark Vader where I was like, really? Yeah. Ugh, guys. Um, now, I wasn't sure cause it, because it actually said in the description that you are, without a doubt, 100% Luke. Did it actually give you a percentage or was it the same? I don't remember. Okay. I just looked for the character and I was like, hmm, Luke. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, this one's slightly dated. Which character do you think was the most blatant attempt to get kids to buy toys? And I'm like, well, where's Baby Yoda? <laughs> I'm going to put Yoda then, because well, yeah, just as my Baby Yoda. They didn't. Uh, they didn't list oh. Porgs or Baby Yoda or. That is true. Yeah. So also, I wanted to ask you guys how you answered these. So I tried to answer these of how does this like apply to Kyler not. If I were in the Star Wars universe, yeah. it's if I'm sitting here at my computer and this question is posed to me, here we go. Um, unless it actually like forced me to be like, which universe planet do you right. want to visit or something right. like that, you know? But if it was like, how do you respond to your friends or whatever, I tried to be like, okay, well, not how do I want to be, not if I were a Star Wars character, how would I be? Mm -hmm. How do I, Kyler, go ahead and do this, you know? How did you guys approach that? I, I think I was mostly the same. Okay. But it's... I'm not sure I would really see the difference. Well, see, in a Star Wars universe, I don't have to care about killing people. <laughs> well, that don't might you? actually say more about you than <laughs> yeah. you want known. <laughs> I mean, there are still laws against murder. There are, but I look at it more a little bit like D&D, &D, where it's kind of like... Well, he was obviously corrupt, so I whacked him. You know, is it really that bad? You know? Well, and, and and again, that game is set up to not punish the players in normal ways. <laughs> I know. Unless you have a really, really strict DM. But, I know, uh, those are no fun. Just kidding, Chris. Is don't. <laughs> Chris is not I was going to say. I, I shot Chris Aguilera and everybody, of course, cracked up. <laughs> I, yeah, no. Yep. Oh, man, we need to play that uh, Planet Mercenary one again. That was way fun. Planet Mercenary is delightful, listeners. Yeah. I highly recommend it. And if you haven't read Schlock Mercenary, I highly recommend that. Um, okay, the next one down, Ross, the Magic Quiz. One. Magic Quiz. I got Han Solo. <gasps> that was the first one that I was like, wow, this is really just super random. None of these questions have anything to do with anything. You got a chaotic character? Uh, I know. I got Darth Vader. <laughs> Oh, man. So, I'm at Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, and Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> I'm at Ahsoka and Darth Vader, and I'll get back to you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, next one down, Ross, the Beano. Beano? Isn't that a pill? An anti I know, pill? right? Whatever was that site. Uh, I got a Porg. A Porg? It told me I was a Porg. That is the dumbest thing ever. I know. <laughs> okay, according to How Stuff Works, I am Princess Leia. Uh, oh. Why? What does it say? You have the heart of Princess Leia. There's no doubt about it. At first, people may think you're the sort of person who doesn't have a lot of power, but that's because they don't know you and what you can do. You're organized. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> Determined, and you don't let anyone walk all over you. Not all over me. I mean, a little over me, sure, but no matter what the situation. I don't even, I'm not even fond of that description of Princess Leia. Like, yeah. that's what you got from Leia? Yeah, that's... Okay, how stuff works. Sure. Yeah, that's not great. You being organized, though, that's hilarious. I know, that's isn't it? That's funnier than anything I've that ever said That is freaking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. All, All right, right, so which one did you guys do next? 
Magic quiz? Magic quiz, Okay, yeah. you're going in the order you've got them listed here? Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, Zimbio, Ross, what are you doing? Uh, yeah. Zimbio, I had a return character. <gasps> it also told me I was Luke. Nice. Yeah. nice. I got Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ooh. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. A long time. Yep. Finish the quote, I'm, man. I, I'm oh, a little okay. confused by this first question on Magic Quiz. It's just like, generally speaking, which political persuasion do you lean toward? Conservative, libertarian, I'm a true moderate, liberal, yeah. or as liberal as you can get. And I'm like, why do liberals get two entries and everyone else yeah. only gets one? Yeah. Like, I feel like there's a slight bias in this quiz. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, obviously everyone's <laughs> going to pick liberal, so we should give them two options. We should give them yeah. a spectrum of liberalness. Yeah. Liberality. Uh, yeah, so, so far I have not had a single repeat. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah. But I'm only <laughs> three true. out of three. Um, okay, and then Brainfall, I that got was... Luke Skywalker. There's Did my you? first repeat. Wow. I have two Lukes. Yeah. Uh, I got Yoda on that one. Oh. So. What did it say about you? I don't remember. No, okay. I wasn't keeping track. It said that you're little and green and wise. It's not easy being green. No, it's not. <laughs> I have to go connect oh, some man. rainbows. So, of the six official ones we did, I had one and a half ties. Okay. One and a so half I ties. had two Lukes, and I had Vader and Anakin. Mm. So I'm like father and like son. Well, and give us, your, give us your... Oh, yeah, listeners, I forgot to explain this before earlier. We were going to be like, if there's like an overwhelming like one, if you get, you know, mostly that one, then... That's who you're going to be. We're, that's why we picked several of these to do. Yeah. And, yeah, there's, like, no coordination between them at all. It was, like, just totally random. Well, I mean, you got two Lukes. I got two Lukes. All of mine are light side aligned. Yeah, I got uh, I got Vader. And then I got Anakin, I'm pretty sure, because of the anger issues. Well, I've got I also a got Anakin on that I've one. got a princess, and I've got a not a Jedi. Yeah. Well, because remember, that was the Clone Wars one, so we're talking about yeah. good Anakin. Good Most, going bad. Mostly Whoops, good Anakin. Like me. <laughs> so, as I mentioned earlier, what, the Clone Wars one was the last one that I took. Mm -hmm. And that's when I realized, oh my gosh, there's more Star Wars quizzes from StarWars.com. So I started going through some of them, just whatever the next one was that it recommended. I was like, oh, if you like this quiz and you want to find out who you are in this category, take this. I was like, oh. And I was going to keep doing them, and I was like, wait a minute, I should see how many there are, and I figured it out, there are so many. We could do like four <laughs> whole episodes just where we quiz ourselves. So so many is a quantity now. Yep, there are so many. So There's many. one so many. Yep. Gotcha. Uh, so I did, uh, which Jedi are you? Okay. And I got Luminara Unduli. Ooh. You have a known... <laughs> 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 so so what you didn't see there was Kyler raising his hands and okay bear with me yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Pre prepare your chortles now alright you have a no nonsense approach to life <laughs> and are happy to help others who need some guidance but when you're wrong you're wise enough to admit it I don't think you're that bad at that no I, I mean you gotta prove your point you know but I, I am willing to admit when I'm wrong you know if if you can show me if it makes logical sense, sure. But the uh, the more you have a no nonsense approach to yeah, life, which is that was that's absurd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I look at it like this: literally, all of us are going to die, no matter what. Like you're going to die. You exercise every day. You eat really gross tasting, healthy food. Guess what? You're still going to die. So I might as well not take life super seriously. You know, enjoy sure. myself along the way. Eat, drink, and be merry. I believe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, uh, so then that one led me to which dark side user you are. And I'm like, finally, a quiz that speaks to me. And I was so happy. <laughs> Care to guess who I got? Um, dark side Darth Maul. User. No, you're not a Maul. Okay, Magic Quiz says that I am Han Solo, by the hey, way. I so I am four different I ones so far. I wonder. Magic oh, Quiz, no. I, I was the one that got Han on that I one. I got Darth hey. Vader yeah. on that one. Mm. I got Han on the next one. Okay. Um... So Ross, what was your guess? Chris guessed Maul. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not feeling. No, Maul. I actually feel like Sidious is a more likely one for you. Mm, I feel like we need like a goofy Sith. <laughs> Ventress. Is there a goofy one? <laughs> Ventress isn't goofy. She's scary and a little bit sexy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I, I really. 
Chris is right. I can't guess. Darth Sidious. Wow. Well, Emperor Palpatine, but yeah. 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 Um you are the master at hiding your evilness and convincing others to join in your hate. Yes. <laughs> Need to stage your own kidnapping? No problem. I haven't done that yet. If you weren't the emperor, yeah. By the way, if I go missing, I definitely got fed to Carol Baskin's tigers. Don't let her get away with it. <laughs> All right. Uh... If you weren't the emperor, you'd make a great actor. Let's be real. I'd make a mediocre, mediocre actor. Been down that road before. <laughs> You, you might. You weren't a bad actor. What are you talking about? I didn't say I was bad. I said I was mediocre. <laughs> I'd say Adequate. you were better. Adequate. I, like I'd say you were better than that. You were better than oh, mediocre. Well, thank you. That's well, at least in that pool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you might not be too easy on the eyes. That is true now. Wasn't necessarily <laughs> true when I was younger and more svelte. Uh, but at least you have unlimited power, which I don't even have that because Ross. That's has right. It. it is mine. Dang it. Unlimited power! Mm-hmm. Did you hear that, though? In Friday's episode? Clone Wars? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that Excuse was me. so good. Yeah, where they actually used yes, a little bit of the The real voices. Three. They yeah. had, yeah, Anakin and Mace and... Yes. Uh, no, not Mace. Oh, wait, oh, no, in they that did. one In that one, in part, that that's one right. clip, that's they right. did. When, when the Ahsoka, actual, yeah, yeah, it was uh, Samuel Jackson and... Yeah. Uh, Hayden Christensen and Ian McDermott. Well, and did you see... Uh, oh, so good. Someone, Sorry, everybody, to scroll for just a second. Someone posted a, an overlay of the... Uh, yeah, they synced up the two fights. <sighs> no, not the fights. Okay, Bino gave me another Han Solo. Oh. Hey! Uh, I'm actually not that surprised, because he is a little <laughs> bit chaotic good, and that is Chris. How dare you. But Chris, That's they also... Good. You're good. You're good. You pretend not to be, but you're you are like Han Solo. You yeah. pretend not to be good, but actually, no. Chris, you are. Shh. Nobody knows. Uh, I, I didn't mean to spoil the secret, everybody. Sorry. Pretend you didn't hear that. Yeah. <laughs> pretend you didn't listen to this episode at all. Whew, there's 30 questions in yeah, this one. I'm sorry. That I was the I'd long one. Yeah, right yeah. Middle, forever. Yeah. We'll be here all night waiting for Chris to finish that one, so you get a pass. That's mm. fair, but now I'm curious. All right. <laughs> I will tell you, I have taken two... What character would you be in Star Wars quizzes before, like years ago? And mm-hmm. on those, I got respectively Vader and Han Solo. So, that's three so you're, Han you're Solos and two Vaders. relatively unchanged. Then. Yeah. Okay. And Ahsoka. Which was, that's that was interesting, fun. though, that you were pretty solidly, like... And Leia. I got like Leia and Because I, yeah. I was all different except for Luke, where I had two Lukes. Yeah. That's crazy. Man. Okay. Well. Okay, this one's only ten long, so I can take this one and then I'll be as caught up as I can get. Wait. So, final quiz. I got Vader again. So, I'm three Vaders, three Han Solos, and Ahsoka and Alea. Wow. Yeah. That's, See, I mean, I'm we, surprised. We kind of got all along the spectrum, you know. Yeah. So we're kind of our teeter totter is kind of evenly balanced. Chris was also evenly balanced, but all of his weight is but, out at the end. Yeah. Really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. I wish, I honestly wish that mine had turned out more like Chris's, where it was pretty clearly like, you're yeah. either this or you're this, depending yeah. Yeah. on like, which quiz you're taking. You know, I'm just happy. I know I'm a good guy. Yep. I'm mostly good. Yep. I'll take it. <laughs> five out of five out of eight, I'm good. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, evil? <laughs> oh, no, you're good. Yeah, five yeah. out of eight. Yeah, that, yeah, that's predominantly good. I'm more good than that. Yep. If, it, if this was the, the, the Old Republic... Alignment scale, he would still be in the gray cloud area. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Slightly blue tinted. Well, I mean, yeah, because let's be honest, Han's like straddling the edge of that. And yeah. Good side, so. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yep. Which means Chris is really just straddling evil because you got all Vader and then Han, he's like, meh, I could go either way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, let's, I got Vader. I never got Anakin like you guys yeah. got. I got Vader, so that's not really straddling. Yeah, that's, that, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. it's Han You've that got kind of Vader, pulls who's oh, all yeah, okay. evil, and yeah. then all of your Han parts are going, well, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I could play a little chaotic. Live mm-hmm. free. Don't join. Yeah. Yep. You go both ways, like true neutral. Sure. Yep. There it is. <laughs> okay, so uh, that ends portion one of this podcast. Dun, dun, dun. Or of this episode, I should say. Yeah. Portion two is which. Some... Uh, by the way, I mean I think we're on like we're still in like long Nerf Nugget territory for this episode. Yeah, it's gonna be short. Apparently. 
So, um, we are, we got to do some news, some actual news. Yes. Z news. For some this. some yep. state of the podcast State news. of the podcast news. Newsy news. <laughs> um, Ross, care to break everyone's heart? <sighs> I mean, I, guess... I think that's giving us a lot of credit. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, care to break my heart one more time? Yeah, I guess that's fair <laughs> making it. me do it. But, uh, so I am going to be stepping away from the podcast. Is how he begins. Yes. Yep. <laughs> and yes. now finish him. Um, and it has been decided that there are too many obstacles in the way of um, continuing the podcast in general. So we are officially going on indefinite hiatus. Yes. So yeah, Ross is going to make a computer game. Yeah. Yes. So my, my, my education and all of my desires and skills are gaming related. Um, I'm currently soldering circuit boards, which is not related um, it's also a nasty commute. Yeah, it's a solid hour. One way. To get there. Yeah. And then yeah. an hour and a half-ish. To With get early home. hours and um, bleh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on the road by 5 a.m. That's never been fun. But, uh, um, and also, Ryan, I, I work with our listener, Ryan Farrell. Oh, that's even worse. No, so, just kidding. <laughs> uh, I, I would appreciate a little discretion with what I'm about to say, if you would, Ryan, when you get here. Um, but uh, it's not, I don't intend on staying at that job forever. Um, They'll be so surprised to hear that. I know, right? <laughs> um, but the, the trouble is, is that it takes so much time with that. With so it's it's also the schedule is an extra hour a day off of a normal work day. So with all that time, I have very little time in the evenings. That's why we went down when I got the job to me editing less. Um, although no one seemed to really notice the things that we now left in that I didn't <laughs> like. But whatever. Um, Anyway, I step back with with the editing. Um, recording is taking up you know large portions of the day on the weekends, which is my only time to do anything else. And so I, I'm what I'm trying to do is refocus my time and efforts onto actually completing something that will further my actual career and life yeah. goals. Yep. Um, and I mean I can't quit the day job because that is still currently paying the bills. Yep. So um, it left me in a little bit of a lurch. But if all of you would join our Patreon at the five dollar tier. It still wouldn't be enough. <laughs> <laughs> Such a downer. <laughs> Listen, though. Well, and Siri, on a serious note, if y'all joined, if everybody joined at the $25 tier, it probably still wouldn't be enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's, uh, yeah, it's the sort of thing where it's, uh, like, he, he's serious about this. Like, Ross texted me a couple weeks ago and was just like, hey, I'm I'm getting more serious about making that video game. Can you get me an outline for what we you know for the story and what we were going to do? Oh yeah, do? Chris is helping Ross on this. Yes, yeah, yeah, and it's and uh, I I will not be as nearly as time intensive on this project as Ross is, but um, and I was like, okay, sure, yeah, cool. He's getting more serious about it. That's great. And then we we came to record last week, and he said, no, by getting more serious about that, I mean like business license is in the mail. Oh, it arrived. Oh yeah, yeah, and also my sales tech license arrived today too. So, so. that that's that's pretty darn serious, and yeah. you know we can't not approve of that. That's great. Yeah, like yeah. way to way well, to chase your we, dreams. When we started the podcast, we agreed that like we had no idea how this was going to go. Yeah, I when we started it, I was pretty sure we would record those first episodes, and we'd be like, well, and then. No one would care or listen. <laughs> and yeah. we'd be like, well, that was a fun, like, 15 episodes that we did, guys. Good job. Uh, and then instead, it, we had a really positive thing. But we had always said that, like, look, this is something we're doing for fun. If it ends up taking off and making us money, sure, great, awesome. Then, yep. like, that's an unexpected bonus. And then that would come into account. But um, we only just started our Patreon. Yeah. And um, we... and. I don't think that we started it too late. I no, just we didn't no. have anything that we felt we could ask you to pay for. Yeah. Well, and part of it too was it's <laughs> just like just okay, now. if we're doing a Patreon, we've got to have yeah. tiered bonuses and everything. Mm -hmm. What kind of time do we have to make yeah. bonuses? And that was never great. So yeah, Patreon and... was tricky anyway. But also um, with Ross stepping away, uh, both Chris and I were like, okay, well. Do we know anybody that can fill that gap? Yeah. And maybe Ross could then just edit because then he's not taking yeah, time. Yeah, if to you weren't aware record. already, Ross has been taking care of all of the recording responsibilities, yeah. all of the editing, editing responsibilities. Uh, Kyler's been managing our social media, Ross and I've been uh, occasionally writing a description, you know, a description a week for an episode. And <laughs> yeah, 
Um, well, and I was also doing any sort of like art that was seeing like, yes, like the thumbnails yeah. and like yeah. the t-shirts and stuff for mine. Business cards. And, and business so cards. we we kind of assessed. So the reason that I started this podcast with these two guys in particular, it, the the ingredients that they bring to the table are really good. And we talked about this in the first episode that we all have a different perspective from which we approach Star Wars. Chris looks at it from narrative. Ross is looking at it from like graphics games and, and, and games yeah. and art, that mm-hmm. kind of a thing. I'm looking at it from history and just love of the series and not that we all don't love it, but no, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? But anyway, just different perspectives. So I'm like, that's a good thing, a different perspective from the other guys on the show. Both uh, Chris and Ross and I, we've been friends for 20 ish years, give or take a year. I, I've known Chris a little bit less than Ross, but yep. only by a couple of years. Um, so we're really, really comfortable with each other. We know that we can sort of tease each other and make fun of each other without stepping on uh, on toes or hurting feelings. We know also because of that length of time we've known each other that we can really argue. Um, we we can really ha- and we have had some pretty <laughs> serious disagreements here that were. I was like, geez, maybe uh, we got to take it take a breath, everybody. Don't, yeah. don't want to lose a friendship here, you know. Yeah, and not all those made it to the final. Battle minutes. Friends yeah. is a tier three game. <laughs> I still am gonna like throat punching for that, but uh, but it just and so that element where we're comfortable enough with each other that we can make fun of each other, we can argue with each other, and it's not going to uh, affect things. We we know that um, all three of us have a strong enough personality that we can stand up to each other, that we can interrupt each other and and you know say, well, this is what I think, you know, and and that's really important for a multiple host podcast you don't want one host dominating everything as i sometimes do and have to remind myself not to do oh, i've never um, done that yeah <laughs> <laughs> and uh also there's the element of sort of a stage presence we've all chris and i have both acted in uh live theater all three of us have done improv did an before improv for a while yeah. Yeah. um yeah semi-pro improv group because we did get paid a couple of times. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I never saw any of that. What you did too? Yeah, you did. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. It was, it we only much. did it like three times, <laughs> oh. and it was like and 20 it wasn't bucks much. Or 10 yeah. bucks each, and it was like, one of uh, yeah. hey, we've got uh, a couple of pizzas, guys. Here you go. Yeah, up. <laughs> this, that might have been more. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Um, but so we've got that s- sort of stage presence, which um, not everyone has, um, and it's not needed in every podcast either. Uh, but for this podcast, for what I had in mind, I wanted that. Um, and as we raked our brains for someone who can meet all of those criteria, there was really only one other person that we could think of, and he's way, 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 way too busy with a master's program right now. <laughs> well, I, I did throw out as like the obvious person to replace any of us on the podcast. I said was uh, Carrie, but oh, yeah, that's that true. runs into similar availability issues as Ross has, and it still doesn't cover the editing. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we had a couple of people, but. Uh, in mind to maybe keep the show if going. They could edit it, maybe come on. We we went back yeah, and like forth. The, the editing was actually a, an easier, potentially easier problem to solve, but even so, um, we just felt like, you know, we'd take the Seinfeld way out and might as well end yeah. while you're. Well, and at the end of the day, it was just like, do we really want to go to the effort of replacing Ross? Like, yeah, nah, and that's the. Like, it's, it's just not the same without Ross. Yes, uh-huh. and I, I've been thinking. So, Ross told us at our last recording session that this is what was going down. And we said, okay, well, we're recording again in a week. Take some time. Think about it. Think if we can, you know, come up with any solutions you can. And the more I thought about it, the more I was like, you know, any other host that would be a permanent host, I just, I just, I just yeah, like Chris said, I don't think the magic would be there. I mean, mm-hmm. these two guys, and I, I say this in complete sincerity, these are my two best friends. Um... Ross has been my best friend since I moved into his neighborhood when I was ten and a half. Is that how young we were? Yeah, <laughs> that's adorable. Oh. You know, I, I'm like that. And Chris was my best friend in high school. Like mm-hmm. we did. I, I, I spent more time at Chris's house in high school than I did at my own house. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, there. What the heck? We're ending the show. I'm going to tell this story. I am, I spent so much time with Chris and his family at his house in high school that I once walked in on his sister getting a haircut in her underwear, and it wasn't super awkward. It was a little <laughs> awkward, but it was not super awkward. I have awkward. never heard this story, so it might have been more awkward than you thought. But. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's more accurate. It yeah. was, uh, yeah, anyway. 
<laughs> it was. Uh, it, I Do was you want me to leave like, that one in, Chris? I don't know. She was young enough that I was like, okay, uh, you're yeah, still a little kid. The age it's that not my super weird, weird you know. Time. Yeah, yeah, that's not too weird. But I'm mm. like, that's that's how close <laughs> yeah. I am with these guys. You know, Ross's little sisters, uh, Lindsay. You know, she still calls me her brother. Your, I still call your mom my mom. You know, like very close with these guys, and it's it really, in a very real sense, is irreplaceable. What what we have, and I. The more I thought about it, the more I was like, I just don't think, I don't think whatever would replace it would yep. be the, what we uh, have. And I, t- I talked with my wife about it, and you know, Kyler, you've talked about doing a history podcast before, and I was like, you know, really, I'd rather, That's if it true. were just going to be me and Kyler, I'd rather do that, and, you know, sit down and do a history podcast. Oh, and uh, and that way it would, it would feel less like we're missing Ross, and more just like, hey, we're doing something different now. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, and I, I really get the... The like, well, you got to focus on what matters to you. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's a large part of why I've been part of the podcast in the first place is because it never demanded too much of my time. Yeah. I was just writing episode descriptions, helping here and there with little things. But it was like, yeah, it's most of my, you know, it's like I'm working. Most of my free time goes to writing. And if we um, were pulling in off Patreon, if we were pulling in a couple hundred bucks a month or something, then all of a sudden a couple hours a week's worth. We're, we're well, we'd, work we'd have the not, income so, and we'd also yeah. have the obligation. You know, yeah, we wouldn't yeah. leave people high and dry. Like exactly. But. Um, so, so that's that. Um, now that that all of that being said, if things change in the future, I know that I for one would be super down with picking this thing right back up where yeah. we left. We have and I, oh, I should have could. been prepared. Dang it! Even for this episode that we knew was coming, and I knew I was going to be giving a speech, I'm still unprepared. <laughs> Imagine that, guys. Imagine that. We still have a buttload of episodes planned. Yes. This is not... Um, well, uh, planned as in just we have like, an idea that we were going to do. We, we don't have we them had, scheduled. We yeah. had episodes through like episode 100 scheduled. Like... These are the days we're recording them. Mm. Yep. This is when they'll be released. Here's the topic. Which, for context, this is episode 95. Yeah. No. Um, is it? Is it 93? 93. 93. Oh, this is 93. Yeah. yeah my bad. Um, <laughs> Who knows? These so, things. like, we actually, we had episodes <laughs> scheduled to record, scheduled to release, and that's, there's that, but then also we had, through episode 100, planned out um, what we are going to do. We had a bracket series of episodes coming mm-hmm. up. We had... So the, the lightsaber discussion we had, like the best lightsaber yeah. fight, that was going to be like part of a series that was, uh, we were going to do another episode coming up. We were going to do a live episode for our 100th episode. We tell you this, of course, to taunt you with what you will no longer Exactly. Receive. Chris had an absolutely <laughs> phenomenal Firefly versus Mandalorian episode that... I'm going to force him to sit down and just tell me anyway. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and by force him, I mean allow him 10 seconds to start like, talking. And open that just, spigot. Yeah, and yeah just exactly. Let that flow out. So that'll be a conversation we are definitely having. But we had, let's see, do some quick math here. Another uh, 30 episodes waiting to be assigned a date. Yeah. Um, and that's just, and some of those were definitely going to be like two parters or even three parters. So like we have like basically through the end of the year planned. Um, so this is not for lack of ideas. It's not for lack of, um, interest on our part. It's not just for lack of interest on your part either. Like, my, we really yeah. appreciate everyone who's listened to it. And yeah, it's just for sure. Like, and like I said at the beginning of this, when we started, it was very much a, well, the three of us are going to record some discussions probably for our own posterity <laughs> and no one else. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you know, I've had a lot of times over the last year and a half in particular, like I, I once a couple of years ago, I toyed around with a business model for starting a video game review website. And, and, and I had some ideas for how to distinguish that from others. And, and I ended up just setting it aside because I was like, well, at the end of the day, do I want to be a video game critic running a video game review website and then the answer is no, no, it wasn't. And, you know, when we started this, I started toying with ideas of, oh, hey, I could do, you know, do, do what I want to do a, like, just do, do a YouTube, be a YouTuber, just do reviews of various things and everything. And again, I, I was like, you know, I feel like I could do that. I've got the camera at home. I've got the equipment here, but that's not what I want to be. You know, it's like, I don't want to be a reviewer. I don't want to be a critic. I respect people who do that. I love it. I love reading great reviews and listening to More great criticism. You love disagreeing with those great I, reviews. <laughs> I, well, personally, I like. I really like agreeing with them. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's at the end of the day, that's just not what I want to be. And and with so with the the podcast, it was always like, yeah, I'm here because it doesn't take up too much of my time. But if it did, I would have to. I would have to step back and go. You know, 
a, a podcaster reviewing Star Wars ad nauseum. It's not what I want to be, as fun as yeah. that would be. Um, I have different goals in mind. I want, you know, I've yeah. got, that's why I got the writer website out earlier this year, and, and that's my primary goal, and always has been, and so. Yep. Some other fun ideas that I'm really sad we didn't get to. So we were toying with putting up some, act, like, recording video and getting some videos on YouTube and stuff, or maybe for, like, even Patreon subscribers. We were going to play Guess Who, but with Star Wars characters. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we were going to do a Star Wars meme episode with oh, the yeah. video. That was one of our oldest ideas. That's I'm been really on sad that I don't get to use my trivia show pun names that are still unused, like Coruscant Squares. <laughs> or I am altering the deal or no deal. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, or, we, didn't we use that? I one? thought we did use that. Oh, one. Did yeah, we, we did that use one? that. We might have, I think, the last oh, one. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Jar Jar Oh, anyway, so, um, yeah, we, so we may come back again in the future. Yeah. Depending on how things go. Um, At and, the very least, I owe Stephen a one on one discussion of comparing. The on your left and and uh, that episode makes me sad. I am Iron Man oh, moments yeah. with yeah. the uh, with why why Rise of Skywalker didn't Ross, work. Are there. you sure we can't go on for? A nah, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. We'll just you know what these. if if enough people really want to hear that, really want to hear me rattle on about that, I'll just record something on the fly and with no editing and just yeah. slap it up in the Facebook group or something. But yeah, so. Yeah. Um, we also had one that I was looking forward to. I put on there was that I titled Chris puts his money where his mouth is. Yes. Was one that I was looking forward to because that was, I had a conversation at LTUE with a guy I knew about, um, about Star Wars. He's not a fan of the last Jedi. I, you may not know this. I really like the last Jedi and, uh, and we were, he was going through how his, one of his complaints was like, well, it just threw out what the force awakens was doing. And I was like, no, no, it didn't. This lots of people say this and that's bull. And I was going through, I was like, okay, what was it doing that this is disagreeing with? And he was listing things out and I was like, okay, like killing Snoke, that's not throwing out what it did. That's like forward character development. And it's being used to forward develop the character, the actual important characters. Like there's a difference. It's just not what you wanted. But anyway, I was like, okay, so what should they have done? That's what I kept coming back to is what should they have done? And he's like, and he's like, well, they, I don't know. You know, I was like, I was like, dude, you're a writer. What should they have done? You, you of all people don't get to say, well, there could have just been something better. I don't know. It's like, no, you've got to tell me what would you have done that would be better? And he starts listing off things. And I'm like, that's really generic, man. Like, that's really cliche. And he's like, well, I mean, Snoke could have been some other Sith Lord. And it's like, and that would have been more fulfilling to you than Snoke was just some dude who thought he could be Palpatine. Like, that's not better. That's just that it's just pulling some 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 other random guy out of our asses. And 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 anyway, so I, I had this discussion and then I came out of it and was like, uh, I guess I should probably I'm saying that Rise of Skywalker was awful, and and but and there's a lot of people trying to defend that by saying, well, where were they supposed to go? So uh, I guess I should figure out where they like. Can I actually say there's a better place they could have gone? And so I started toying with ideas of where that would go, and then I had a horrifying realization that I was basically writing my own fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but then I thought, well, you know what? If I'm going, for, if I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I'll go all the way. And so I started outlining a uh, alternative. Episode nine, Rise of Skywalker, um, and uh, yeah, the the saddest thing about it is that the the original outline, like I'd been working on it here and there ever since, but yeah, that took me one shift at work just thinking while I was uh, four hours, boom, knocked out something that was way better than Rise of Skywalker. And I was just like, that was easy, like that was literally yeah. like embarrassingly easy, yeah. and uh, all I had to do was look at Last Jedi and go, well, okay, what threads are here? How can I pay that off? Whip. Well, that was easy. Anyway, so I was gonna, I was gonna share my horrifying, this horrifying thing I did that I stooped to writing fan fiction. I was gonna share that with you all, but now you don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was a long aside. You might want to cut that one down. <laughs> that's all. It's what this episode is for. Yeah. And next episode. So yeah, there will be a next episode. This is not the last episode. No, this is the we penultimate have, episode. It is. We're not gonna quite be that abrupt with you. Yep. Uh, and that was. I'll, I mean, I don't think either of you disagreed, but I would have died on that hill uh, of m making sure that we got one final episode. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I knew you guys didn't disagree, but I was like, yeah, there's where you have to do a well, final episode. And that was why I said, hey, you know, we need to talk about a smooth transition for me instead of being like, yeah, this is my last time, fellas. Yeah. Peace. So, so um, 
So next week is going to be our final episode. We are going to be recording. We want to do something special, something different, and frankly, something that I was surprised I didn't come up with sooner because of how simple the idea was. We are going to set up a Discord channel, a more civilized Discord channel. You guys can get in because I'm reasonably confident that most, if not all of you listening, are gamers, nerdy, tech awesome people like us, and you know what Discord is. And if not, it's free to download, pretty simple. It's free to download, very, very user-friendly. We're going to have links all over our social media. Um, If not before this airs, then immediately when it airs. Yes, Um, today they should be there. uh, Assuming you're listening to this on time. Yep. (laughs) Yeah, best not to be behind. Yeah. Um, We're going to have links to that Discord you you can get in, and uh, we're going to have a couple different channels set up on May 9th, Saturday, May 9th. Which is this upcoming Saturday. Which is this upcoming Saturday in three days from now, if you're listening to this when it first airs, at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. So that is 5 p.m. Eastern, okay? Starting at that time and going for probably an hour would be my guess um you can get in that discord we are going to be here in ross's office recording like we normally do and we are going to let you guys come on the show via discord um because of coronavirus where we had to record separately we found out that hey discord is a thing that works for recording so that's what we're doing so that you guys can actually be on the show so you can come and hopefully say nice things but if you <laughs> want to tell ross that you've made he's made you sad then i understand and because <laughs> ross has made me sad too <laughs> i'm gonna let that one slide because i know I so yeah argue uh, against it. join us in discord and um and uh, yeah, come on the show. Come say hello. Uh, and again, I'm kicking and myself goodbye. for not having <laughs> thought of this sooner. Because this is a way, like, I'm thinking like Josh Tesler out in Colorado. Like, one of our oldest listeners. He may be, actually, I think he was the first non-related to us listener that we had. Um, and it would be awesome to hear from you specifically, Josh. So hopefully you can make that happen. Uh, but once again, that is Saturday, March 9th, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, get in that Discord, and I'm going to have it on my phone, and I'll be in there talking with you guys, and then we'll pull you guys uh, onto the show and yeah. let you talk to all of us. And yeah, so I mean, we'll we'll have one of the the voice rooms set up so that those of you that are there live can actually hear us record live as well. Probably we still have to work out some of the yep, details. We're going to be testing, works, but uh, between yes. now and then. <laughs> but yeah. One last drain on Ross's time before we yep. yeah. before we're done. Yep. <laughs> um, well, and and no, there's still a couple because we have to get a lot of the files transferred over and then all <laughs> sorts of things really? transferred here and there. Yeah. But also getting things put up on YouTube. Yep. So Podbean, our host, um, does have a link to YouTube, which it, normally it would just like auto publish the same time that we post to Facebook and Twitter. Um, but uh, we just never did it because that's not where people listen to podcasts. Um, Surprisingly, a couple of people that I've talked to are like, well, I only listen to podcasts on YouTube. Really? Yeah. Like two people. I oh. was shocking. Okay. That's about four people more than I thought did. <laughs> first time I ever listened to a podcast on was on YouTube. Chris, you're weird. No, it's the first time. Well, okay. and apparently I'm the odd one out because both of you know someone I've never even, whatever. No, it's not like I know them. It was more like, hey, I you like Star Wars. I have a Star Wars podcast you well, should right, listen right, to. Right. And they're like, is it on YouTube? I'm like... Who the f- get out of here? I don't want you listening to this. Who listens on YouTube? Um, but anyway, no, we're gonna we're gonna be pushing everything to YouTube going forward. So even after our regular hosting lapses and everything, they're yeah. still around. YouTube will host it for free and forever and yep. forever. So, yep. and again, if uh, if the time comes where we uh, resurrect this podcast, a la Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and by that I mean terribly and illogically. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, we would be less than adequate. Like we at still that ha- point. Ross still has all the files on his computer and yeah. stuff, and that's not going yeah. anywhere. So, um, well, I mean, ideally, hopefully, ideally, yeah. <laughs> they're on. They're on my external hard drive. My backup. Yeah. Nice. So unless I hit it with a hammer. <laughs> unless you unless you hit multiple drives with hammers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. 
Note to self, do not take a sledgehammer to Ross's computer after the show. Oh, there goes next week. <laughs> I know, plans. right? Man. <laughs> I was going to punish Ross for turning off the podcast. Now I can't. <laughs> Someone would not be leaving alive. <laughs> I know. No, Ross, come on. I'm a gamer. I, I understand the, the <laughs> sacro, sacro sanctity of the You're PC. a gamer, but you're not a game maker. Yeah, I was so going to say. True. <laughs> it's not just the gaming. It's the every other Everything. facet of his life. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so anyway, we do... Uh, we do want to really thank you guys for Absolutely. sticking with us for as long as you guys have. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's been shocking really how long some of you have yeah. decided to keep listening to us. Um, I thought only my wife enjoyed that level of punishment. <laughs> 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 and, uh, and we hope you'll, uh, yeah, you'll be with us next week and in, in discord, hanging out with us. And there you go. Absolutely. And Oh, by the way, yeah, we're not shutting down Twitter, our Twitter. We're yep. not going to shut down the Facebook group. So you can still hang out. You can still talk with us. Uh, feel, f- I mean, I'm always down to talk about Star Wars. So, you know, if you want to still be a great repository it, for Star Wars memes. It sure will yes. be. Meme of the week. We forgot to do. No, wait, it's coming up. It's coming up. I forgot. I forgot. How Might be hard to argue about the newsy news anymore. But yeah, other than true. that, we will we find a way. <sighs> <sighs> the newsy news the will not die. It is apparently going Steven to. Steven won't be sniping the news from us anymore. That's right. <laughs> Steven. Oh, ah. boy. That's really why this is all happening. Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> to prevent Steven See from undermining the news. Steven? news. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, mm. yeah. So, that's that. So, you can still find us on Facebook and Twitter. Yep. And Twitter. At More Civilized on Twitter. And a more fa- uh, a more Facebook civilized a more civilized <laughs> podcast Facebook group. What the heck is it? It's like Facebook dot com slash more civilized. I think is the, something like that. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> if you're not there by now, let's be real. You're not going to join anyway. So if you somehow found our podcast a year from now and are like, hey, I like this enough. You want to join the group? All right. I have done that before. Yeah, I've done that. I have found podcasts that ended like three years before I found it. I'm like, this is fantastic. I, w- I want to go find it with it. Oh, it's yep. it's over. Never mind. Well, and I mean, most <laughs> of my podcast listening is fish- fiction podcasts. So, you know, it's like, okay, there's a ton of production. Here's one season. And then there may or may not be more. We'll see. So, Anyway, speaking of social media. Yeah. <laughs> that brings us this week's Meme of the Week. Meme of the Week. Meme of the Week. Meme of the Week. Uh, who we are awarding to the the... Ever entertaining, Mr. Chris Gatlin. Ah, yes. I love Gatlin. I Chris play D and D with him every Friday. He's freaking great. <laughs> both of his characters, both Alistair, the evil cleric, and uh, Lehan, his uh, half orc barbarian. He's delightful. That's oh, just great. <laughs> um, and then he's getting our meme of the Thanks week. Thanks for not for killing his... coats that one time, Lehan. Yeah, he's getting our meme of the week for the the. SpongeBob Patrick Star conversation. <laughs> oh, I saw this one; it was great. It's, it's a little bit long, but it's it's pointing out Anakin's. It's the, cla- uh, it's the classic, the the Ray or Manta, you know, whatever the villain is. I, don't, I, don't, I never. I forget SpongeBob, what his name so. was. Talking to Patrick with the wallet and the ID uh, meme. It's one it's where, like, one. in the the whatever the the guy is saying to Patrick, you know, this is obviously this is a so thing. So this is your ID. It has your name on it. That yeah. makes sense to me. I found it in this wallet, so therefore this wallet is yours. Nah. <laughs> um, anyway, he's, it's it's that meme, but cut together to discuss uh, the some the hypocrisy it's, of yes. the Jedi. It's Mace Windu and Anakin Skywalker. Yeah. So I'm I'm not, not giving gonna him everything. Cool. Just so I can make people actually go yeah, on Yeah, go on Facebook. Themselves. It's yeah. great. Uh, anyway, you can see that on Facebook, and you can speak with me on Twitter, at Random Paladin. Yep, he's not leaving Twitter, so he'll still be there. I even set up a new Twitter for the the company. Ooh, but... nice. Man. What's that? What's it called so I can harass it? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I wouldn't do that. It's professional. <laughs> uh, so the name of the studio is, is Arbitrary Games, and so it'll be Arbitrary Games. At Arbitrary Games. Yeah, wherever. I've also, I mean, I've got all that stuff already set up, but nothing's How really How do you decide there. what games to make? Arbitrarily. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was the point of the name, Hope actually. Spike. Good job. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but yeah, there won't be anything there until I actually have something to show, which will be a while. Yep. But, uh... Ross is learning to code in order to make this happen. Yes, and he more just, or less. He's pulling the Howard Taylor approach. The guy who made Schlock Mercenary is like, yeah, he always wanted to make a webcomic. Kept looking for artists to work with him. Never could find one. And so finally just went, ah, screw it. 
Guess I'll learn to draw. Yeah. Well, and I've had <laughs> I've had some through school and knowing some yeah. programming, yeah. but yeah, this is new and different. Yep. More intensive. Yeah. And when it's out there, go buy Ross's game. Yes. You can find me on Twitter at Itinerant Baxter, and you can also find me at my writing website, writerinthehat.com. Uh, which will always have my writing on it going forward and is also a place, good place to find out what these guys are up to because anything that they do will go in the section of my website labeled Friends Projects because <laughs> hey. I've got a section for that and so and, guarantee uh, you, you can find us all there. I've had some personal changes in my life as well that make the History Podcast um, almost a certainty. Ooh. So that's going to be a thing in Sweet. the future. Hmm. I'm not going to promise a time because I'm not sure yeah, we know exactly when, but it is going to happen. <laughs> so, I am going to do it. Like, I mean, I, I was. I mean, we've got all this like, podcasting equipment. How can we and not that's use it? Part of why I was like, well, it's not going to be living at Ross's house anymore. Yeah, I bought all these to. mics. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, if you want to hear me talk about history, that is a thing that is going to be coming. And um, based on student reviews from the college classes <laughs> that I taught. Listening to me teach history is something that a lot of people want. <laughs> I enjoy it. Yeah. Man, that's one of my favorite times on social media at all is when some idiot <gasps> tries to say this is something that happened that historically and I see Kyler go, okay, hold up. And I'm like, oh, wait, wait, let me get popcorn. This is going to be good. My good, favorite yeah. was one time somebody told me, maybe you should try reading a history book. And I was like, oh, <laughs> well, this is going to be a fun evening. Uh, yeah. I had <laughs> Life, a cancel my plans. I've got to argue on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I did that once with funny. a uh, when the the Sochi Olympics when they were in Russia and someone was talking about Russia and I was like no nope, it's not how it works and they're just like oh well you because you'd know so well and I'm like well you know I only have a degree in it and 10 years of experience speaking the language and friendships with Russian people and I can go on for quite oh, a while and you lived there yeah, I lived there and <laughs> you know but sure, yeah, no, yeah, I don't know much. Yep. Yeah, that's always fun. That's my favorite. And yeah, I, I always really enjoy seeing Kyler do that. So this so will be a good podcast. To, yeah, if you want to hear history being told in a definitely snarky, guaranteed sarcastic yeah. manner, but actually... Probably not well. drunk, but very entertaining. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, until next time, may the force be with you. Always. always. I'm Anna Graves, and thank you for listening to a more civilized podcast. After like a year and a half to shut it down. <laughs> That'll be funnier to the to you listeners later. Uh huh. Oh boy. Maybe. <laughs> you might you wanna, gotta cut. You that might want to cut it and put it at the end. Are we? Gonna, are we <laughs> so, <laughs> speaking of Andy's birthday party, has been moved to today. And by the way. <laughs> Never had the chance to bury the lead before. That's, uh, that's, uh, wow. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, marching band kid. I, yeah, yeah. I realized I was out of sync with the beat. And <laughs> you too. So glad I don't understand that. Okay. Uh, All right. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Well, hi there, listeners. Hello there. Yeah. Oh, dang it. That's what I should do. I'm going to do it. Back it up. <laughs> You got good outro material this episode, Russ. Do I? All my sister stuff, <laughs> gay brother-in-law. <laughs> you got what he meant was you've got good blackmail material. I almost so, got you in trouble at the library. Uh oh. Wasn't, I was talking. To, yeah, I was talking to John. He's just like, yeah, I was gonna have Kyler come in again this weekend, but I, yeah, he's moving. He told me he was moving, so he couldn't do that. And I was just like, what? <laughs> and he's just like. <laughs> oh, he's moving and I was like <coughs> this fr oh oh yeah yeah because his sister's moving it. okay yeah I did know about that like that yeah that is a thing and I could tell for a second there he was like are you covering for him <laughs> those were some valid concerns and I was like <gasps> both sides of the issue nuance oh take me now <laughs>